Sagittarius, hello, my darlings. Welcome to your summer reading. I am using the pre Oops, cards already coming out for you. I am using the Priestess of Light Oracle for you, followed by the Animal Kin Oracle, followed by the Animal Art Tarot for your messages this summer. Uh, before I start, thank you as ever for your support and your love. Um, thank you if this reading resonates with you for liking this video, uh, for uh, your wonderful comments, for subscribing or becoming a member of this channel. Aside from my gift back to you, which is always ever present there, which is the 30 minute online uh, pay what you can readings, I am also offering now because it's um, national, well, not national, it's World Tarot Day today. So uh, happy World Tarot Day. And to celebrate that, I am offering 30% off all my fixed price readings. You will need to book by the end of tomorrow, Friday the 26th, and availability for readings is from June, my darlings. So the link again in the description box below. Uh, let's move ahead with your reading and let's see what wishes to come out for you. Uh, too many cards for it. Just one, please, for Sagittarius. Thank you. You have got duality has come out. Um, number 36. So duality here, many meanings and misunderstandings. Um, so there is something that is uh, confusing you at this time. Um, and it is something that is there to help you grow from it. The situation is to help you grow from it. But three here is also about creativity. OK, and um, the spirit is asking for your perseverance in moving forward now through this, through perhaps um, your perception of it in a way that you are going to allow for other thoughts, other meanings to come through. We can get very fixated on a certain viewpoint, a certain perception of something which blocks us choosing or being willing to receive any other uh, thoughts or ideas or perceptions of it. And Spirit is saying there are many different layers to the cake with where you are right now. And perhaps to do some subconscious writing, to get some thoughts out, to get some feelings out. Because we tend to write, we tend to speak from the conscious mind, from the here, this brilliant, brilliant computer of a mind. But that mind only can process information from this lifetime. When we tap into our subconscious, and in effect, when we are choosing to be open and vulnerable and, and create an open connection with our superconscious in doing so, so much wisdom, infinite intelligence comes through. That's why subconscious writing is so good, because it allows to come forth with no resistance from the mind that might tend to block things that can make us feel vulnerable, all sorts of information that is willing and is ready for us to tap into. So, and duality means that there's more than one, okay? So, and that's why we have relationships. It's the duality of the relationships. It's the yin and the yang of the relationships where we can either go this way or this way, or we can be neutral in the middle and observe and choose and respond rather than react. So there is something at this present time uh, that you have a misunderstanding of, and that misunderstanding is simply because you're viewing it through the eyes of your persona, your character, what you feel you are, who you think you are based on experiences that you've gone through. And none of that's true. You're so much more than that, my darling. And uh, when we truly understand, it's because we stand in the place of truth, having looked at the underside of it and being willing to see the pattern, willing to see our pattern in life but also other people's patterns as well. Um, and to be at peace with that too. So let's move into the reading and let's see what wishes to come out for you. But there is, they're saying here with three and six, again, thank you, Spirit. Three and six makes nine. Nine is about, again, perseverance, about the attainment of your goals. And uh, three and six, again, six is about harmony, harmony, okay, there is harmony in your perseverance that you're doing at this time. What does that mean? Thank you, Spirit. It means that if you continue to do what you are doing, even though you don't know what the outcome is going to be, continue to put the effort in, continue to pull forth, continue that, that which is wanting to come out for you with your intuition, your superconscious, your subconscious, continue to persevere. 
then there is harmony in that because you are uh, lining up the energies, you are pushing through challenges and fears and anxieties, and you are continuing to do what feels right for you, then there will be results. Sometimes it's that very last hurdle that we are presented with from the universe that is our biggest challenge. Challenge, But if we believe in ourselves, we believe in our cause, we believe in our purpose, we believe in what we are doing, then that challenge is actually the last removal of an obstacle before it's plain sailing, before that chapter has completed in terms of a, something successful for us. Because the challenge, the thing that you're persevering through at this time could simply be an old attachment you have, a subconscious old attachment to a certain way of thinking. And so you're being presented with the challenge to see if you can see that. And from that, then you remove all the blocks, those blocks that are, that are blocking your current movement forward. I trust that makes sense. Anyway, let's have a look about where you should focus your energies this summer. Thank you. And I thank you, sorry, I keep getting information from them. She's in a cave. Let me just show you this again. She's in a cave. There is ivy there to say commitment, but she's in a cave. So I feel that you've been um, very much sort of separate from almost like that hermit you know you've kind of stepped back and you've you've had a long period of solitude you've enjoyed it and isolation but you've kind of haven't been uh, venturing forth and venturing out but something has uh, and you've been um going through a kind of death and a rebirth something has ended and so you've gone through the processing the revaluation the reflection of that and it's been very important for you all in divine design but now something's got your attention uh and uh it's very interesting to see what's going to come out for you so where should you focus your energies on during this summer thank you spirit where should sagittarius focus their energies this summer thank you spirit what wishes to come out. You've got the Jabiru Foundation and you've got the Orangutan Creation. So you're working now. I'm working, is working the right word, Spirit? No, you're, you're playing at. You are working, you're working hard. There's a lot of, um, as I said, determination and perseverance at this time. Uh, perseverance is such a wonderful word, isn't it? To persevere, to push through, to keep going because you feel it's right. So there is a lot of that happening. And you are at this time, because of this space that you've been in, this very valuable space that you've been encouraged to be in, you are now creating a new energetic structure for yourself, an expanded one outside of this space. This space now, something's calling you. Now, whether this is new opportunities, uh, new opportunities at um, uh, uh, expanding on your skill set, new opportunities in terms of new relationships, new connections, whatever that may be, they are playful, they are fun, and they are new. Now, the orangutan will never see um, everything it does, it does in a form of uh, natural play. And so Spirit is asking you within this next stage of your life to have a playful approach to what it is that you're looking to do. Yes, work hard, but do it not in, a, in, a, in the concept of I must do this, I should do this, I need to do this, but actually, woof, I'm feeling it today because we were created to create. And when we're in our creative expression, when we are leaning into something we are inspired by, we are enjoying, we are um, excited by something, then we are life force energy with no resistance. It seems easy, doesn't it? And you're doing this as much for yourself as you're doing it for others too. So whatever you're doing now in this new foundation, have fun with it. Just remember you're doing this for yourself. You're doing it because you love to do it. Don't forget that you love to do it. And yes, there's a lot of work, but I feel that that work is going to be creative fun. And you may, because you are now being asked to come out of this hermit space, you're also being asked to face new uh, growth, new challenges. Um, and it's okay to feel like a novice because you've reached a certain level where you're about to start learning something new and you may be very good at what you've done in the past, but now this is a new stage. 
It's developing the skill set that you have. And everybody starts to novice in various different. Nobody is a expert in everything. They are always learning. And anybody who is a true expert will say that they're never stopping learning. They're always, it's always the concept of embracing the new, embracing, taking a new idea, which has come from source energy. And through that thought, creating it, putting it into reality by conscientious creative effort. Um, and that is creating this new foundation for you. And your creative expression is your soul's individual representation in any given moment. So every time you're in your creative expression, your soul is representing itself saying, here I am, here I am, here I am. Does that make sense to you? So you can feel completely in the flow. Um, so let's have a look and celebrate that, my darling. Have fun with this. Have fun with it. Um, I feel there's going to be a lot happening for you, but you're just being reminded you're doing this because you love to do it. Don't forget the love part of it. What must you weed in order to grow? So things that are perhaps your concepts about something, maybe people in your life uh, that are impacting on your growth, things that just keep appearing. You're thinking, why are you come back? What, why has this come back into my life? I thought I dealt with this. So what must you weed in order to grow? What is spirit wanting to draw your attention to? Intelligence, yeah. I think that sometimes, uh, you know, Sagittarius, you are so passionately driven. And I think there is this that, that extraordinary um, flow that goes with that, as I've just talked about. Mm -hmm. And there is a childlike energy to you and I feel sometimes you 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 go at full pelt at something and then you take a halt and go, oh my goodness, what have I just done? Ooh, oh, I don't know if I can do this. And then you sort of stop something that you may have started. So spirit is saying, be more fluid with your approach. Don't think too much about what you're doing. Remember, you're meant to be loving it. Enjoy it. Feel your way through it. Use all of your senses in the application of the process for yourself. Uh, because you are tapping into when you're using all of your senses and you're feeling your way through it. You're not thinking your way through it, which will make you come up against all sorts of ego presented conflicts of interest for yourself. But if you feel your way through it, if you listen to your feelings, question your feelings, feel those physical feelings about what you're doing, as opposed to what the mind is saying then you're tapping into infinite intelligence, which is far beyond any under, any uh, intelligence that we have with the mind has only from this lifetime. You're tapping into divine source wisdom. And the octopus is such a teacher. And so therefore, whatever you're doing, I feel that um, whoever's resonating with this reading, you are very much in a capacity, a desire you feel a teacher, you feel that you wish to give, you wish to express, you wish to help people. And so Spirit is saying to you, when you trust your instincts, when you trust your intuition, when you are tuned in and tapped on, whatever this may mean for you, in your flow, you are tapping in the flow of infinite intelligence and it's all there for you as source energy. And you know, and you feel that. Um, Let's have a look at what new opportunities may arise for you. Thank you, Spirit. What new opportunities for Sagittarius this summer? What new opportunities? I keep seeing the kookaburra amusement and it has, it's wanting to come out. That's so funny. Um, so uh, you've got crab trust and kookaburra amusement. I think there is a huge shift in energy that's happening now. And I think you can, recognize that and see that and there is a willingness and a desire for people to generally um to feel better to seek the feeling better and so spirit is reminding you that as you're coming out of this hermit mode that you've been in, been in you've actually been sending out a calling sign it's a little bit like sending out an invitation to a party and maybe you have uh, or maybe you're going to a party but you've been sending out you've been putting out all sorts of phone calls to the universe saying do you know what subconsciously or consciously i'm ready now i'm ready for new connections i'm ready to have fun i'm ready to enjoy my life i'm ready i've 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 done so much and actually now I'm I'm almost at that saturation point where I realize and I know and I recognize that yes I'm ready and it's summertime and and I just want to see what the universe brings in for me and so 
the universe is saying you are ready you've been sending out that call a beautiful sounding call like the kookaburra you've been sending it out it's resonated and those that resonate with you those that are in line with your energies have heard the call those souls and they're coming forward um and you must trust my darling you must trust that those connections that are coming forward are part of uh, perhaps not what you may have thought was your straight direct line route to success or enjoyment or fun or your manifestations. But like the crab, um, the universe likes to sort of just not, you know, we have this blinkered approach sometimes like a horse with blinkers on. We go from A to B. The universe goes, no, 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 no. You might go from A to E and F and G and back to C. So. Uh, it is all though part of that divine pattern, which as it unfolds, when we look back on our life, we go, oh, I understand why. So be expect to um, meet and have great fun uh, situations, meet new fun people that are going to come in from sideways that you're when you're least expecting it. You know, that lovely universal coincidental co-creating instance you're in the universe of those souls that have said before you came here. Do you know what? I'm going to be that person that's going to appear at that time. And there's always, always a reason for it. OK, so lovely, lovely fun you're going to have this summer. And what should you explore this summer? Thank you, Spirit. What should Sagittarius explore? What have we got? Intention. OK, and play. So I feel that there has been too much of a seriousness within you. There is absolutely your intent here. You've got the Jaguar. Powerful intent, powerful will, powerful perseverance, powerful determination. It is a reminder to continue to explore avenues, okay, of um, your intention. What have you subconsciously been putting out there as your intent? What is your purpose? Hold that vision. Hold that vision. Focus on that big picture and trust that. In the meantime, if you can play with it, if you can ride the wave, if you can understand that things are happening, oscillating up and down your life for you to have fun with, to embrace, to see as a challenge that you haven't perhaps done before, you know, we should always, always do something that we feel fearful to do. And this is something I've learned in my life. And this summer, I'm doing all sorts of new things that I have not done before. And I'm reminding myself that everything I desire is through fear. And that sometimes that subconscious fear and anxiety we feel about doing something is very simply an old um, part of our brain dating back to childhood that says you can't do it you're not good enough and you want know do it anyway step through it anyway do it anyway and see what happens play at it have fun at it my darling there's a lot of fun you're going to have in new adventures and new explorations this summer so let's have a look to see uh with this deck here which is the arc tarot about the opportunities um what is coming in for you thank you spirit new opportunities we had creation didn't we and we had uh trust oh my light i'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment thank you creation and trust please spirit thank you wow okay wheel of fortune with the bumblebee has come out for you my darling so there is in you creating in your in what you're creating at the moment and the trust of what you're doing, the understanding of why you're doing, the trust in the process, the trust in the outcome, the trust that the universe will provide, that you have got this wheel of fortune. And the B represents all those wonderful new communities or community of people that are coming in to support you at this cycle of your life. Um, and that everything is, 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 the wheel is turning for you and it's more than you can imagine. And bees are healing energy. Bee honey is is shamanic. It's spiritual. It's healing. There is a beautiful, um, so many other layers to the connections that you're going to come across. And it is all for the community. So you're doing this as much for others as you're doing it for yourself. And that's a beautiful balance of energy here. But expect more than you are expecting. Just put it out there. Universe, bring it on. I am not limiting do not limit 
the concept, the belief of what is going to happen. Expect the universe to surprise and delight you. And the Ace of Swords with the Hawk here, there is going to be presented to you in specific times that opportunities that are not going to come again. And I feel you're going to pounce on them. You're going to see them for what they are with the Ace of Swords. You're going to see them as that uh, inspiration that you have been so holding on to and so believing in and the breathing in the inspiring of the releasing at the same time the universe is going to give you at exactly the right time either through others or yourself coming up through yourself those extraordinary inspired idea inspired ideas and thoughts and concepts about what it is now that you are coming through so coming back to that duality and misunderstandings, I feel that you've gone through, there is still some subconscious writing to do, but I think that what you've come through is come into the balance of the yin and the yang. Now I've looked further into this reading as well. And you are now looking at your life and your relationships and everything in your life from a neutral stance, from an observational place. And as I said, something's got your attention. So the time is now, the time is right for you to get up, to go out of your cave now and start to um, explore life. And I feel that uh, with this hawk, coming back to that, um, it is there is a time for opportunities, there is a time for rest. I know that you are becoming more and more discerning about um your life and who's in it and why you're doing certain things and you are becoming much more wide open and ready to move direction in whatever the universe is showing you a little bit like that crab and the hawk that will fly in different directions and you know this is about you having that very clear mental and emotional vision for yourself and then you've got the elephant with justice here so this is to say this is you on the brink of this fulfillment uh from the heart for you this is you now whatever decisions balanced decisions you're making they're having long-term um long-term effects positive effects for you with the law of cause and effect this is the universe showing you and you understanding the spiritual laws of uh, the universe uh, it says here natural law this is you remembering who you are in the process of all of this which is part of the reason why you are doing this so a really, really powerful reading, my darling. Um, go and have some fun. Uh, try and try and uh, do a little bit more work on perhaps some misunderstandings you've had about certain um, belief systems that you've had in your life, perhaps about others, but I feel more and more about yourself. There is just a little bit more work to do on that. Uh, her hand is still near this book. There has been some journaling. There has been some writing. You are committed to what you're doing. You are passionate to what you're doing. But it's now time to take your hand off. Do you see she's got her hand on the skull? It's now to release the past in its entirety and to go forth with the understanding that you're ready. The universe is showing you through what is coming in for you. You're ready now. Step through the fear my darling, step through the fear of everything that's coming towards you. Step through it now because everything you desire is on the other side of that. So much love to you. Um, I'm going to be doing the um, June readings for you next week. They'll be completed uh, hopefully by the middle part of next week. The weekly is today and tomorrow, and you've got uh, the daily readings as well. So um, otherwise, have a wonderful weekend and take care. So much love. Bye bye.